everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking a little bit about my favorite terminal emulator so everyone has their favorite terminal emulator some of them some people like ST some people like you know URXVT some people like um, Alacrity some people like Kitty I mean there's just tons and tons of these things some people like GNOME terminal you crazy people <laughs> so your terminal emulator is very much uh, it's very much a personal preference. It's not. It's like your favorite brand of shoes or the favorite car you want to drive. You, know, everyone has their brand. <laughs> you know. So when I say terminal, termite is the best terminal em emulator. I'm saying that because it's it's my personal favorite. So there are a few just a few reasons why. So let's take a look at um, termite here. We just switch screens. This is Termite. It looks like a terminal emulator. I don't know what you're really expecting. <laughs> it's not anything, you know, there's no fancy effects or anything like something crazy that has, um, you know, animations or whatever. It's just a terminal emulator. So there are a couple things that may me, make me enjoy this over other ones. First of all, all the features you want are built directly in. So unlike something like ST, this is ST right here. Uh, unlike something like ST, uh, that has to have patches and stuff in order to do simple things like scroll up with your mouse. Uh, you can scroll up by default in Termite, which is great. And that's that's more comparing Termite and ST because most terminal terminal emulators have the ability to do all these things built in and don't need to be patched. Uh, the next reason is uh, how fast it is. So. Termite is not the fastest terminal emulator. That goes to um, Audacity, uh, not Audacity, um, Alacrity. This is Alacrity, and as you can tell, I don't actually have this configured properly. Um, but if we do a time NeoFetch, oops, you'll see this is, it did it in about 2.216 and time NeoFetch, and did it 2.10. Oh, Look at this. Termite beat it this time. It doesn't always beat it, but it's very, very close. And everybody, if you listen to like DistroTube or I think Brody Robertson also uses Alacrity and calls it the fastest one. Termite is very, very close. Sometimes it's a little bit slower. Sometimes it's not. And this is a very, you know, unscientific test. It's just NeoFetch. It's just, I mean, I think NeoFetch is a bash script. But, I mean, it, um... It's fast, is, is the point. And, and that kind of leads me to the, the, I mean, the biggest thing, the reason why I like uh, Termite is that the configuration file is way better than any other one that I know. So if we see it in, if, first let's uh, zoom in here, clear that CD into dot config Termite, and just do ls and vim config. This is the config file. We'll just zoom out just a little bit here. So. It's not so big. And literally, this config configuration file is 87 lines. If we open up another one and look at the the alacrity config, so cd dot config alacrity. Oops, dumbass. <laughs> Can't do that. Just vim alacrity. Ah, recover. And we go down here. This is actually 584 lines. Now it looks like nonsense because I'm zoom, zoomed in so far. But I mean, and some of those are going to be comments, obviously. But there's a big difference between a configuration file that's 87 lines and a, a configuration file that's 584 lines. It's this. I wouldn't go so far as to call termite suckless because that would be not true. But it's definitely more minimal than something like Alacrity, which is considered the fastest terminal em terminal emulator. Uh, and another thing, Termite is not like GPU uh, reliant or whatever. Like Alacrity will actually offload some of the processing power to uh, to your GPU, and that might be good for like um, different operations, like moving big large big big large files. They're very good, man. Uh, moving large files between one place and another, or you know, running certain scripts or whatnot. Um, 
And in that case, maybe Alacrity does beat something like Termite. I don't know. I don't do those kind of operations uh, for the most part. But I've never noticed Termite being slow. And I like the fact that the configuration file is just, you know, more minimal. Now, there is an argument to be made that Termite is just not as uh, extendable as something like Alacrity is, because like Alacrity you can go through and, you know, create your own custom key bindings for like a Vim mode or whatever, and that's great, but if you don't use those things, it becomes kind of, you know, superfluous. So. I mean, and I feel like I'm picking on Audacity a little bit here, but I mean, the same can be had for like ST. So if we, if I look at ST's uh, thing here, and remember, ST hasn't been patched in my system at all, other than the colors. So if we get out of this and CD up a level into suckless ST and then config.def.h, this one here is um, 477 lines. Now we got to remember that is probably that's the direct code, so it's not really fair to compare them. But something that Suckless has all these things that are you know, is is so much more. Now again, Suckless is way more extensible than Termite is, I think. But if you don't use that extensibility, then you know it's just a waste. And I don't. Uh, I'm a big terminal user, but I don't seem to care about all the extra cool whiz bang features like I don't use any key bindings in my terminal at all I probably should learn some of them and maybe I will someday and, and if that's the case maybe termite won't be the thing I use but if you're just looking for a minimal terminal emulator I think uh, termite is the best one that you can choose I mean look this I said this is 87 lines and there's at least what close to 23 lines here that could just be completely removed Let's do that and see what it is. I'll just okay. Yeah. See, now we're at 67 lines, and that's and that still has some comments in it. So I mean, it's a minimal terminal emulator, and it's fast, and it's I mean it may not be as customizable as you know every other terminal emulator, but if you're just like I said, if you're just looking for something that's minimal and that will work, and is very easy to configure. I think terminal emulate the termite one termite termite terminal emulator is the best that you can choose. So that was a very quick video. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down and hit the subscribe button to make sure that um, you don't miss any of our cool and awesome videos because our videos are cool and awesome. It's scientific fact. I mean, seriously, it just is. All right. So. In the, in the comments, I have a challenge for you. I want to know what terminal emulator you use. Uh, do you use ST? Do you use Termite, maybe? Maybe there are fellow fans of Termite out there. I'd love to hear why you like Termite. Um, maybe you are a big Xterm guy. I mean, I've never met anybody who actually uses Xterm as their default terminal emulator, but I would love to talk to you if so. So let me know in the comments what you use. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.